On Christmas Eve night, we and our guests gather in the Great Hall for a night of... Watching Harry Potter all day. And drop the broom. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Harry Potter, but I do like them. My girlfriend is a massive fan, and I've recently been to the Harry Potter studio. And I was thinking last weekend, I haven't watched them in ages. Like, what even happens in Deathly Hallows Part 1, really? So I came up with a mad idea, a mega Harry Potter marathon. Wake up at 5am, watch Harry Potter for 19 hours until 12am. Endless Harry Potter, endless popcorn, and three people going crazy. You see everything else, cleanse your buttocks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I did. I quit my job. Just like no one ever been. The night before, we prepared with some much needed snacks. What do you reckon? Should I buy it? All done for Harry Potter Marathon. Yeah. It's way too early. Most people wake up at 5am to go on a flight or go to work. I'm waking up at 5am to watch Harry Potter. It's just way too early. Why am I doing this? How are you feeling, Amy? I'm good. Excited. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, Yay. How are you feeling, Laurie? Woo, okay. Play the movie. Actually, it's, it's just it's just a way too early. Way too early. I think, guys, I think it might have been too early. <laughs> I literally can't believe how like young Harry Potter looks and Dudley looks. It's mad. Like you see pictures of Dudley later, they look like teenagers and adults, but like now they are literally children. Oh my god, he's got parcel time. That is literally such a funny first kind of scene, I, I, and I don't even remember it. Who is it? Oh! It's Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Hagrid is literally such a good character. So underrated. <laughs> It's literally so funny seeing the acting because they're literally all like about 10 or 11 at this school. What was I doing at 10 or 11? Playing football. Who do you prefer, first Dumbledore or second Dumbledore? Loki, the first one. Second one. First one, but they're both very good. I know. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> It's not Levi-O-Sar, it's Levi-O-Sar. Possibly me. I don't know, it's shaped like a f***ing room. <laughs> Can you imagine getting mail from like an owl? Like getting mail, you know, on its own is exciting enough. But mail from a bloody owl? Everything was going well. We were cruising through the films easy. Oh wait, hang on. He's fallen asleep. Rating Laurie and best scene. A seven out of ten. Best scene when they're in the little boat and they see Hogwarts for the first time. Is it a solid nine out of ten. Best scene maybe the first look at Diagon Alley. I'm rating it a solid eight. Best scene Harry catching the snitch. Number two, let's go. Absolutely iconic scene this one with the flying car. So Harry Potter. Scene number two. Literally, how do they not get expelled for this? Like, in the first one, it's like, oh, you're gonna get expelled if you fly on a broom. Flying car to school. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Honestly though, these first two films, so far, epic. If you put him on a toe, Honestly, Lockhart is up there with one of the worst characters in Harry Potter. Like, he's up there with Umbridge, in my opinion. Idiot. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. Only six more films to go. I saw that door at Harry Potter Studios. Don't, don't think. Don't. If I was to talk much, I'd 
something to do with the power. It's a little to do with the power. Dobby? Master has given Dobby a sock. <laughs> Dobby is free. Yay! Yay! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Second oh, film shit. done already on to Azkaban. Eight and a half. Favourite scene when the Chamber of Secrets opens up. Eight out of ten. Seriously good. And my favourite scene is the last bit where they all clap for Hagrid. Adorable. Ooh. Seven. I feel like it's decent, but not my favourite. My favourite scene is when Harry gets saved by the Weasleys in the flying car. Prisoner of Azkaban, here we go. Number three, 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 three. Oh my god. I probably forgot how good the scene is. The button hitting Dudley in the head, the dog biting Mr. Dursley. Classic scene. Dun dun. They literally do the Dementors so well as well. How they look is just how they sound in the book and they look so dark and scary. It's great. To be brave. Go on, Hermione. Go on. <laughs> yes, Hermione. That's what we like. Punch Draco. When you watch them back to back, you really realise the differences. The Whomping Willow in Chamber of Secrets is in like a big courtyard, whereas now it's near the forest. That's the kind of thing that you notice when you're watching 20 hours of Harry Potter. It's Nick Day. So strange because we woke up at five, it feels like, is it breakfast? Is it lunch? What, what is this day, to be honest? What even is this day? More snacks. That scene where Harry just Expelliarmus and just fires Snape into the bed. Hilarious. Scene number three. Nine and a half favourite film. Favourite scene is when Harry runs out and he realises it's actually him who's done the Patronus. He's like, Expecto Patronus. I give that one a seven as well. Favourite scene, definitely the Hermione punch scene is the best one. Oh, that's a classic. Nine out of ten, absolute banger. Favourite scene, again, probably the Hermione giving Malfoy punch. Five past twelve. We're getting there. Fourth film, nearly halfway there. I can't believe I thought this was going to be hard. I'm not even struggling. Now. I'm enjoying this sh a goblet of fire! Feet off the table! Feet off the table! I wish we got to see that Quidditch game in that amazing stadium. Like, it has such build-up. It looks amazing. You see Harry really excited. They start the game. We didn't get to see anything. I really do not remember the start of Goblet of Fire at all. People are twirling around. People are coming down out of the air. Now, I have no idea what I'm talking about here. Who's coming out the air? Who's twirling around? I think I might have just been going a bit crazy from watching so much Harry Potter. Oh! What I don't get in this film is why is Igor Karkaroff, why is he supposed to be the one who put Harry's name in the goblet? The film all the way through basically tells us that it was him. I don't get that. Does anyone get that? Put it in the comments if you get that. Favourite Harry Potter character yeah, in the series? Oh my god. What question? What? Maybe a Luna? I don't know, there's many. Maybe a controversial Snape, but I feel like... Snape? He's misunderstood. I personally would go for Sirius, even though he's not in too many films, but I think he's a great character. D number four. The CGI in these films just gets better and better. Like this scene, they're completely underwater. It must have been all like green screens. And it just looks amazing. This maze scene must be the most boring thing to watch as a spectator. Like, all you're doing is staring at the hedge. I literally can't remember the ending of this film. Like, how does Harry get out of this? He's done it. He escaped just for Cedric died. No! Goblet of Fire done. Over halfway through. Because I think the first films were longer than the second ones. I need a quick two-minute break. I told you this before. Goblet of Fire ratings. Nine and a half would be a ten if it had had the Quidditch scene at the start. Favourite scene, the first challenge where the dragon chases him. Nine and a half. And then favourite scene will be when they introduce the other schools. Absolutely love it. 
I think it's a 9 out of 10. Favourite scene, the Yule Ball. Five, 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 five. Five, 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 five. You're the Phoenix now. This is where my memory gets a bit hazy. Time is going quickly. I woke up at five o'clock. It's now three and it literally feels like I've watched like two films. Man. Would you guys say it was a struggle? No, it's gone so quickly. We've been sat here for like 10 hours and I'm ready for more. <laughs> two, 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 five, two. Look at them all. Proper adults. It's popcorn time. <laughs> Strange that I said that Sirius is my favorite character when this is actually the only film he's kind of properly in. Why isn't it one of my favorites? Luna's here! I never knew she came in so late. You're just the same as I am. Boo, boo, boo. We hate you. Sixth tea, sixth tea. I really don't get why they changed how the fire was. I much preferred it where Sirius was actually like in the embers, in the wood. I thought that looked so much better. Sirius just died. Very, very, very sad. That's number five done. I was gonna give it six and a half. But I think the ending pulled it up to just a seven. Favourite scene? Gotta be the end scene where uh, Dumbledore and Voldemort are fighting with the... So I rate it a seven. And my favourite scene is where the Weasley brothers put the big dragon in the firework. I'd give that a seven as well. And I think my favourite scene is the same as Laurie's, the big dragon. It's the Half-Blood Prince. Bring it on. We're smashing through these. This isn't even hard, to be honest. And I thought this was going to be grueling 20 hours uh, like just get through it really hating the films, but honestly, I'm loving them But first it was time for another quick butter beer It's five o'clock now 12 hours since we started this at 5 a.m. We're on to the half-blood prince It's literally just started Amy's favorite film It's interesting like Harry, literally in the Order of the Phoenix, he taught everyone all the good spells, you know, he was the teacher. But like in this one, he still doesn't know how to operate. Do not have known how to operate. T, 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 T. Big stuff's going down. Snape's making the unbreakable vow. These last three end films really ramps up, you know, this serious, no joking around now. Big, big, big stuff. I'm the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. I think this one actually has a bit more funny moments. Hermione hitting everyone, birds hitting the wall, the liquid luck moment. We're coming up to seven o'clock. Full 14 hours of watching Harry Potter today. It, it literally doesn't feel like it at all. Quick break for some food. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Back now after a quick dinner break, 10 or 15 minutes for food and we're back. I shall make it easier for you. Let's get into the big scene. It's happened. It's happened. He's gone. Quarter to eight. We're done with Half Blood Prince. 10 out of 10. That is my favourite film. Banger. Favourite scene. The one where Harry takes the liquid luck and they go down to Hagrid's. 9 out of 10. Such a goodie. My favourite scene is when he says that he is the chosen one. I'd rate an 8. Solid film, but not the best, not the worst. Favourite scene. Uh, when Harry first finds the book and he's making all the stuff for the liquid luck. It's on to Deathly Hallows part one. I'm actually kind of dreading this film. I think it's slow and not the best. So two more films left. That's only about five hours. Nothing, nothing. We got this. Seven, 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 seven. But first we needed a bit more popcorn to get us through this film. And there's actually quite a lot of transitions where animals attack the screen. Who knew? Wow, we're identical. Wow, we're identical. Why did Hedwig actually have to die? Like, it doesn't add anything to the scene, doesn't add anything to the film, and it's literally just sad. Why? Why, JK Rowling? Why? This is the one where everyone's just pissed off at everyone. I'm still giving it a chance. Oh, big fight scene. This woman is scary. She's talking in parcel tongue. She's got the creepy house. So dodgy vibes. And now she's turned into a snake. So I've actually been to this place. I was like higher up on a bridge and you can see down to the spot where it was actually filmed. It's called Yap Rock. He's back, he's back, he's back, he's back. He's back. Woo! Rod, rod, rod. The gang's back together. Don't be harsh, no. Master. Don't 
Dobby is a friend. Yeah. And Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. Yes, Dobby. Ah. No, Dobby. This is Deathly Hallows Part 1 just ending. I'm going to give it a six and a half. And my favourite scene is at the beginning when Ron sits between Harry and Ginny when he's eating the pie. And I'm going to give it a seven. Bit of a slow film, but decent parts that are out. Favourite scene when Hermione and Harry were dancing in the tent because it's probably the only happy scene. The first Harry Potter book was published. I'm still on screen. astonished and delighted. Amy? I think I'm going to give it a seven as well. And I think my favourite scene is when they break into the ministry. The clock has just hit ten. Final film! 19 hours of Harry Potter. <sighs> Star jump break because we haven't got up in ages. <laughs> I remember this as well at Harry Potter Studios, room full of treasure. But yeah, if you do want to see a full vlog of the Harry Potter Studios, I might have enough footage. If you want it, put it in the comments below. Oh, Snape! What are you doing? Bad, bad boy. I actually do really like Snape though. Great character. This one is actually intense. Hogwarts is being destroyed. Poor old Hogwarts. This is a very big contrast to Deathly Hallows Part 1. Deathly Hallows Part 1 is a slow mover. This is just all action. No, Snape. Always loyal. Loyal to the end, Snape. Honestly, that scene where Snape gets revealed as like... What you think, oh he's bad, he killed Dumbledore and then it all gets revealed in the memories. Epic. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. Oh my god, I can have He lives! The boy who lived! Why? Why, Harry? It was literally yours. You could have had the most powerful wand in the world. You snapped it in half. We're done! Eight films, 19 hours. What a Harry Potter marathon. It's now 12 o'clock. Man, what a journey we've been on today. I'm rating it solid 9 out of 10. I'm going to go for a worse scene and it's Harry snapping the wand because why, 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 why? I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. It is my favourite film. It's the best. And the best scene is when Neville kills the snake. 9.5 out of 10. Favourite scene is just the final battle scene after Harry's come back. But honestly, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. It felt long, but the first four films, I don't know whether they're more high paced or what, but they literally zip by. It's literally proper pitch black outside. You can't see anything. Yeah.